Hello students, Brad Streffler here, Digital Coach. Going to be going over a little bit how you might use the software Big Blue Button, or as some of your teachers might call it, conferencing. Many of your teachers will be using this as a way to stay in contact with you, to allow you to speak with them, and also just to provide information for you in a live way, as well as access recordings of the, record of the sessions they do. So to get started, your teacher will either have posted it in Canvas, to which you'll have a notification and a link to click on, or they'll have sent you a link. It might look something like this. So once you click that link or follow that link, then you'll be able to get into the Big Blue Button session. From this page, you'll be able to change your name if you'd like to. So I want my name to just be Brad. And then you can join the session. Once you join the session, you should be able to see yourself. Your teacher will have a square icon next to them, and then you'll see your classmates that are in the class. Initially, one of the main things you can do is type into the public chat that will come open when you're here. So for example, teacher, I have a question. How do I complete the homework from last night? Then, your teacher will be able to actually speak to you. They'll have a microphone on their computer and be able to talk to you through that microphone. Hey Brad, great question. So the homework from last night, are you having problems with number 12? So now, your teacher is able to communicate and go back and forth with you to help you with your problem. They're also able to type a reply to you as well. So make sure you're watching the chat and also paying attention to what they're presenting here. Your teacher might be using the slideshow presentation in order to change what you see on the screen. They can even write on the screen throughout their lesson and be able to show you what they're working on. Teachers may also decide that they want to share their webcam and let you see them face to face while they're talking. And if they do, their webcam will show up right at the top of the screen, just like that. Hey class, glad to see you. You can decide that you may want to share your webcam while they're presenting as well. To do that, you click this button right here. Right now, when you log into a room, typically you don't have access to share your webcam. You'll know that because you have a little locked icon right there. If your teacher allows you to, they may decide to unlock you and give you access to let you present your webcam or your audio. You'll notice now my webcam option is available because I don't say locked. So I can click webcam to turn my webcam on. When I click that button, I click allow and then it will show me my webcam options on the screen. So I can use either of the two webcams I have connected and click start sharing. Now my teacher and the rest of the class will be able to see my webcam while they're watching the session with the teacher. I also now have the ability, because I'm unlocked, to present my audio. In order to present my audio so my class can hear me, I press this button to leave the audio which will refresh the connection, and now I can join the audio again, which will ask me to connect my microphone. I click microphone. Again, Chrome will ask me to allow. It will take a second to do what's called an echo test to see if you can hear yourself. If you can hear yourself while this screen is up, then once you click yes, your class will be able to hear you. So you click yes for your class to be able to hear you now. You still will come in muted, so make sure you unmute yourself, and now the class can hear you. Your teacher may also decide to break your class up into groups in order to do group work. If they do that, you will notice that you are being invited into a new breakout session. When you click join room, you will now be put into the breakout session with the classmates that were assigned to your group. In this session, you will be allowed to connect your microphone right away. So you can turn that on so that you can chat with your peers. Now that I'm in the breakout room, 
I'm able to see my classmates. Unfortunately, I didn't get any classmates. But again, I now have the ability to share my microphone, which will be on by default. I can share my webcam. I can even share my screen with my classmates by clicking that button. From time to time, my teacher may pop out into the breakout room to check out how I'm doing. And I'll notice that my teacher is now in the breakout room with me. I can also find at the top that I have a countdown available. It will tell me how long my group has to continue working on the information in the timeline that my teacher has given me. While in this mode, I can use the whiteboard myself in order to present information to my peers. For example, I can go over to the pencil and I can type on the board. When the time is up, my teacher may decide to close out the breakout rooms. If they do, I will automatically be placed back into this session. The other thing my teacher might decide to do is give me a poll question to answer. They may decide to write that poll on the screen in front of me, or they may just ask it verbally. If they decide to start a poll, I will see the options on my screen, just like this. Polling questions, A, B, C, or D. I'm going to say B. The teacher may then decide to publish out the poll results so that we can all see them. There's those poll results. I was the only person that voted. I hope this guide helps you as students as you understand how to use Big Blue Button. These are going to be very useful tools as we do distance learning and your teachers help support you in your learning experience now that we have a new kind of learning. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your teacher and they will be glad to help you with further issues. I hope you all have a great day.